What's up? Hey. How y'all doing up? out there? What's up? What's up? How y'all doing? Good to see you. This late night edition. Yes. Who are we? The Jackson. Married to Southern Cookie. I know that too. Good to see y'all tonight. <laughs> so what's going on, y'all? Monday night. Is um, it Monday? I thought it was Sunday. No, we got here Sunday. Yeah. Monday yeah, night. Yeah. Hanging out. Late night. Late kinda, night ting. I know. Late night snacking. But it's going to be something that'll sit right on your belly. So uh, we're going to whip it up for you and hope you enjoy it. You want to yes. see a little bit more about it? What we got tonight? Um, We have some zucchini. Um, What is that? Squash. Some squash. Uh, green pepper. We have <laughs> an orange stock. Um, red onion. It's like I'm in phonetics class. <laughs> What's this? Name this plant. It's not ragweed. <laughs> it's curly parsley. It smells good. Okay. So, name that. What is this? Ten seconds. Name it. And green onion. Nobody said anything. <laughs> Alright people. Oh and don't forget we have some um Oh yeah. Um Bella mushrooms. Yeah. Baby mushrooms. Bellas. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna kinda take it on the light side tonight. Yep. Hope everybody is doing well. So we just playing around a little bit. We come to town just to kinda, you know, hang out a little bit. So, you know, we're gonna get back to business yep. soon. That's all right. And the business is veggie stir fry over seasoned rice. Yes. No. That's the business. It's basam. Basmati. Basmati. Basmati okay. rice. Get me right, baby. That's okay. okay. <laughs> it's all about the grain. The grain of the rice and the simplicity of vegetables tonight is our focus. Absolutely. Oh, Scar. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. All right. You ready for me to chop? Okay. So, he loves to show his uh, chopping skills. So, I'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can be able to say, wait a minute, wait a minute, you're going a little bit too fast. Okay. Hold on, y'all. Let me wave at the people. Ah. All right, Chef ready? Chris. Yes, right. we we ready. So we're good. So I'm just gonna finish um, dicing my uh, vegetables, and um, the vegetable selections tonight are courtesy of Chef Lucretia. She chose the peppers, onion, both onion choices and the zucchini and the squash. So she loves both of those. And to get started, I'm gonna go ahead and cut all my vegetables in the desired shape that I want. And then after that, I'm gonna rinse everything in uh, cold water. So this is my orange pepper. They call it orange pepper. Brianna calling me. Somebody calling you, is everything okay? Everything is good. Everything okay. So I'm gonna give me a little shot like this. Like my kind of square, you can join in with the long slivers. But I'm just gonna kind of do something a little bit different. Is that okay with you? Yeah, I mean, any way you want to do it, baby, I'm satisfied. So, after I chop, you gonna start it in the pan? Yep. Alright. You know, we take turns on everything, so. That's the good thing about it. And um, those that are joining us, What's up out there? Y'all up kind of late. Why y'all up so late? Y'all doing some new research. This is like, you know, uh, social distancing and self-quarantine. Doing some new projects out there. So <laughs> read a book, write a book. <laughs> Got any editing skills? Buy a book. Y'all want to offer some? It's cool. What are they talking about, baby? Because you keep laughing. Nobody's saying anything tonight. I'm just laughing at you because you're funny. You know, I think they're sleeping. You think they're sleepy? sleeping? Wake up, wake up for about like 20 minutes. And then you can like eat this over rice while you watch like late episodes of Perry Mason or something. <laughs> watch Perry Mason again, Chris. I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's a stretch. Or are you thinking about possibly um, at midnight when the uh, TV series, they go off and then you listen to the uh, Pledge of Allegiance? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, um, that's not what that is. What is it? The Star Spangled Banner. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? That what? Boy, people don't remember when TV used to go off. 
Yeah, look. Do you remember when I used to come to your house and then the TV would go off? No, look. <laughs> I didn't have streaming going on in the early courting days. I just had, I just had like local TV and, and friend, it was Friends episodes. That's all I had. Mm, you know I wasn't staying over there for that. I know. So what you gonna do? Sleep. Ooh, let me wake up. <laughs> all right. All right. Somebody said, uh, well, I'm not going to say somebody. Nashonda says, um, all that hard work today, you guys eating late. Yeah, you know what? There's nothing to eat around here. So it seemed like everything early and we just decided to cook something late and we wanted to eat our own food. So that's the reason why we eat late. So. All right, babe. You want to come and do something? Yeah. Come and start the vegetables. Okay, that's cool. All right. All right, babe. Here we go. Okay. Did you rest them? Nope. You did? Uh-huh. Okay. Waiting on you. All right. Rinse the vegetables. See how they're all chopped? Look at the color. See, that's what we like to look for is color. So when you have a colorful plate, you have a happy stomach. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> I would say so. What? Now, where did I get a colorful plate happy stomach? I don't know. Thanks. Rinse those well. You might be thinking about the food color. I think so. <laughs> All right. So we got that. Oh, no, onions smell good. We have our preheated oven. Turn it down just a little bit. So when the vegetables get in there, they will be, they'll start to like sizzle. Let you know it's, you know, activating. Yolanda Bishop, is that is, is that Bishop from Humble High? No, she went to uh, no, she went to Jackson. She did. Yeah. I know Yolanda Bishop. Got a little sizzle, baby. You hear it? Mm -hmm. I like that. How that's looking, everybody? Mix of vegetables, all those minerals, zinc, potassium, iron. What else is in zucchini and squash, baby? So we're gonna saute that for about what, 15 minutes? Should we cover or leave it open? No, well, let's cover it a little bit. Cover a little bit? I think so. It might be down at the bottom. Let me talk a little bit about this while you get the top. Or well, we can leave it uncovered if you want. Now, while she's cooking this, there will be some extra spice added. We're gonna add some uh, minced garlic 
Okay? See, I got the top halfway off because I've been smelling the aroma. Okay? So, I want to set this up right. And um, I think the best way to do it is add it to some rice. Baby, I think we can um, just let that roll. Is that going to be big enough? Well. Is that that big top? Yeah. Oh, that's it. Okay. Good yeah. deal. All right. So, now we got that going on. While that's cooking, we just want to say hello. We, we've touched down in Jackson. <laughs> we've had a few Marywood Southern Cooking sightings today with some of our loyal followers. We definitely appreciate it. Absolutely. And uh, we just want to say, you know, I hope you're having a great day. It was a beautiful day. Um, we had some rain, but as y'all saw, my wife posted uh, me in that tree like, you know, Georgia's jungle. <laughs> and so I was making, and, and I'm, let me clarify this. I was making do with what I had. I had a ladder that was, I guess it's an eight foot and I'm six one. But anyway, uh, and then I had a little hacksaw and I had some cutters some uh, branch cutters. So I made do with what I had. And all that hard work paid off because we ate after that. I'm not going to say what we ate. <laughs> but it was good. It was. And it, I guarantee that my stomach was happy. So based on my dialect, you can tell what we ate earlier because I guarantee that the biscuits were good. Mm, you don't turn off on yourself. I know I did. <laughs> and, um, and it wasn't red lobster. So tonight we we just ran. We gonna all play day. it safe. Yeah, we play it safe. We got a dish that everybody um, should enjoy, and it's really easy to make. So let's check on these peppers and onions. All right. Okay. Stir it up just a little bit. A little light stir. They look to be cooking marvelously, marvelously. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Oh, they smell so good. If you could have a smell gram right now on these vegetables. And look how they're nicely cut, guys. That they are actually... Oh, thank you, baby. Look, they're not really small. I, I don't really care for um, pre-packaged vegetables. I mean, that they cook down to nothing. So I love when Chris chops up um, any type of vegetable for me. I mean, it just... It just fresh vegetables are just better. They're better. They're better. So then they don't cook down as much, so I love them. All right. Okay. Now, do we need more oil in that? Is it okay? Um, I think it'll be okay. Maybe I, I, think it'll be okay. So I want them to cook down so, so we can get to the finished product. Yeah, so do we need to turn this up a little bit? You can no, turn. I, I think it's okay. It's on eight. Yeah. It's too long. a little bit more. Okay. So we need to add the spices on here, sure, right? Yes. Okay. What do you yes. want to add on here, babe? Um, let's start with some of the basics. You want to do a salt and pepper first? Oh, Lord. There he go again with salt and pepper. Oh, my what, gosh, guys. What is that? Um, when I first started saying that, you were probably like, this dude is tripping. That's all you talk about, salt and pepper. Salt, salt and, and pepper. pepper. That's all. That's all. What was up with that? I have no idea. But you stayed? You get that from your mama. You stayed with that salt and pepper, though. Keep on here. You don't tell everybody all about this. Okay. Keep on here. Stay with that salt and pepper. And I did. And I love everything about it. Don't, don't let me tell a lie. Is it the beard? Mm. Mm. Wait a minute. The Let me see how you dipped over that stove and smelled it. <laughs> you like that? That was funny. Your head you went forward with your booty. Okay. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute. <laughs> All right. What are we looking like? Are they getting a little brown? Mm, they're just simmering a little bit. But okay. You can see all the steam and stuff. So. All right. You want to sprinkle some spices while you wait? Hey. Yeah, let me do this. Let me do it old school style. Old school. Because we're not at home, y'all. All right. We are at home, but we're not. Okay, so this is salt. Okay. All right. All right. You think that's enough? A uh, little bit more. Are you sure? Because you What was that, one pinch? Kinda... No, I'll try not to get carried away. Was that one pinch? A little bit? All right, cool. Okay. All right. Got your pepper? No. Mm -mm. All right, so pepper. Okay. And then we're going to use oh, some onion powder. Hold on, babe. Garlic powder. And that's it for now. And then we have fresh garlic. So we'll add that towards the end. And one thing I found out with minced garlic, you want to add that 
um, towards the end because you don't want it to burn. It burns really, really, really easy. So try not to add too much of that, all right? You having some problems over there? We need to skip that? Let me see. Let's skip that. We have the fresh. You got it? Yeah. Okay. I think I do. Okay. Cool. Okay. All right. Got the onion powder. I don't think that was coming out. Okay. No problem. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Smelling good. If y'all could smell this, I'm telling you. I wasn't very hungry before now. Now I'm ready. Seems like it is. That's not an endorsement on one man's personal fame. I j it just came to mind. So don't judge me. Uh -huh. So what are you thinking about tonight? Talking about seems like you're ready. I'm thinking about rice and vegetables. Okay, so let me ask you this. Did you always like stir fry vegetables? Yes. You did? Mm -hmm. What made you like them even more? Because you make them. Okay, other than that. But that wasn't the top choice at first, you know? Well, you can't tell me what the top choice is supposed to be for good pay. No, I mean the top choice for your the things that you liked. What? Was it always stir fry? No. No? Okay. okay. But now... If you were, if this is uh, Chef Lucretia 10 years ago, what would the stir fry be made of? Would it be these same things or would your taste be different back then? Uh, probably would have been a little different. A little different? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now that's looking nice. Mm -hmm. So if you're doing the vegetables, I do the rice. Okay, that's cool. Mm, that's really, really good. Okay, so I need to add this, um, this minute garlic in there too. Right? Mm, just wait just a little bit on that. Let's cover it and let it. Simmer for just a minute, huh? Because you like your vegetables a little bit softer than that, don't you? Well, I don't mind them crunchy. Okay. Let's do about covering do about five minutes on the veggies. Okay. Um, right. Where's the oil? Let's add a little more oil in there. Here. Yeah. Add a little more canola. They're starting to stick a little on the bottom, so we need to loosen it up. How are we looking, everybody? Can you see the comments, baby? Because I'll pull them over. Uh-uh. Right there. Somebody said, what y'all cooking? You can read the comments. Do you see it? Oh, she said y'all cooking it up. Oh, uh-huh. Okay. All right. Hello, everybody. Got Sheila, Yolanda, Penny, Kanisha, and Kayla. All right, babe. Now, now that's never. That looks nice. Mm-hmm. See, if we would have bought the prepackaged, then they would have been all shriveled. Yeah, up. that's true. That's a good point. Prepackaged vegetables would have been shriveled and um, really won't, won't have as much flavor. I mean, I'm not knocking them. They're convenient. But when you can do uh, fresh, do fresh. Fresh over frozen. Right. Now, that smells much better. Nice. So let's cover this and start the rice. Right. Do you want to add the mushrooms in? Oh, yeah, get your mushrooms. I forgot about the mushrooms. So when you cover that, it's going to cook down nice. I'm going to put all of them in there, okay? You want all of them? Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, when you put all of them, that's perfect. We forgot about the mushrooms, everybody. Thanks, babe. Mm -hmm. All right, do you think we need to add a little more seasoning yeah. because of the mushrooms? Yep. See, you know when you stir, you stir from the, you, you kind of flip them over a little bit. Right. Nice. That's nice. I like how you cover the edges and then you flip towards the inside. Getting them all covered in that oil. Yeah. Did you say exfoliate? I said fold. Fold. She's folding, y'all. Yeah, just a little bit more oil in here. All right. So a little more oil. Just a little bit. I'm gonna add just a few more spices to it. Just to give it a little bit of zing. Okay. And by the way, this is onion powder. Add a little bit of black pepper in here. Gotta like that black pepper. And this is also good with white pepper. So if you haven't tried white pepper, it's, it's nice. It's really good. All right, babe, why don't we simmer that while we fix the rice? 
Okay. Alright. I don't think I need any more salt or anything like that. I don't think so. You don't think so? Unless you're feeling it. Mm, maybe just a little bit, but not much. Just a little bit? <laughs> Bottom okay. All right. Let's jump on this rice. Let's cover that baby with your with your thing, and then we'll do this rice. Okay. Flip it on me. All right, people. We're gonna do the rice. This is what the vegetables um, will go over under. Sorry, vegetables go over this rice. So here we go. Okay. Show oh, me so, what you got. Um, I didn't mention this is Basmati rice, uh, Kroger brand. This is the 90 second rice, so all you have to do is you squeeze the package. Once you squeeze the package, it kind of releases the air seal. And then um, 90 seconds, then you're good. But we're going to add a twist to it, so we just have to toss it the regular way. So 90 seconds. Isn't that something when you get here, you got to figure out? Um, what your store was like. You know what? We didn't even add green onion. That's, that's, that's like. Is that for garnish? Uh -huh. Okay. These onions? Yeah. Oh, we do need these onions. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Did you forget? I did. Y'all, he forgetting the green onions. There we go. Let's see what this. It looks nice. Mm-hmm. Shake up just a little bit. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's gonna be good, baby. Ooh, that looks good. Mm -hmm. Hey, Bree. different plating tonight okay right. I can get along with that okay okay so this is almost done now I have my uh, preheated iron skillet a little oil because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna recook the rice and I'm gonna add chicken broth and spices one of those spices is also the impression so the rice is ready so I'm going to add my rice to the skillet. Is that enough? Or is that too much? Mm-mm. Then okay? Mm-hmm. How's that? Yeah, that's much better. the rice on medium high once that starts to cook then I'll add everything else mm -hmm. you know sometimes when you cooking that you just have to add stuff as you go you know it just doesn't you know like we had to add a little bit more oil here and there we just have to do whatever we need to do right like just now I added a little butter <laughs> It's like that, that chicken sandwich you get at a restaurant, you know? It's like, it's like a chicken sandwich. What comes on there? Just the regular stuff? You know, cheese, lettuce, some type of onion. Or they say, would you like that bacon? Yes, I would. Would you like that with some type of seasoned butter? Yes, I would. So the butter. <laughs> you act like you're on TV. <laughs> Smell good too. Does this, that rice smell good? Mm hmm. And the rice is cooking in a cast iron skillet. So, Chris, you know you can't leave it too long. Okay, now I hear that. I'm going to add some black pepper. Salt. 
and be careful with the salt love. Ah. Now I'm going to throw in my chicken stock, I'm sorry, chicken broth. How does it look? Mm-hmm. Our company left us. I saw that. So they're going to stay with us. One of the grandkids walked in and was like, what are y'all doing? Filming. Wait a minute. That rice looks good. Mm-hmm. I'm ready to eat like right now. Me too. <laughs> okay. And uh, they're going to grab a spoon. So we're gonna add a little minced garlic to the rice. Garlic is always good. Always good. And I think this deserves a little minced garlic for our vegetables. Let's check on those vegetables a little bit. Mm. Oh, okay, looking good. They still nice and colorful. And they're softened, so it's safe to add my garlic right now. Right, dear? Mm-hmm. You know what? You can never beat Bone James. That sounds good, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. You gotta have a little soundtrack going on in the back when you're cooking. You think it helps the flow? I think so. Mm-mm. Mm yes, yes, yes. What this looking like? Rice. Nice sizzle, but it's not sticking, which is a good sign. Oh, that smells good too, babe. The amount of broth that you add depends on you, about flavor and how wet or how dry you want the rice. Would you say that, babe? I think so, because I don't like dry rice. I don't either. No dry rice. I think that should do it. So what are we doing, babe? All right, I'm just kind of stirring the rice a little bit. Um, making sure it's almost ready. I think we're almost there. What okay. you think? Yeah. Okay. Now, my rice should be almost there, so what I'm going to add is some color to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to add some fresh parsley. So we got the garlic, parsley. And, yeah, garlic, parsley. Butter. <laughs> Butter, chicken stock, canola oil. Won't hurt to add a little onion powder. Mm -hmm. How about that? Mm-hmm. Onion. You think it's think I need a little more butter? Think it's too dry? Uh, add just a little bit more love. Okay. And then go get that. I think it needs a little something. something. Mm-hmm. Right. We're almost there, people. So what, what's our time looking like? You know, I always like to know. Like, how much time? Let's see what the vegetables are looking like. Let's check on those. Oh, yes. Those are cooking nicely. Mm hmm. Chris, they look good.
when I add butter to something, I like to make a little well in the middle, nice little hole, and just drop it in the middle. What you think? Mm-hmm. All right, let me check your vegetables. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Let me check these sweet little vegetables over here. See what they're doing. Is that how you like them? You like them soft like that? Mm -hmm. or, I like them just like that. Okay. A little bit more? Is that okay? Mm -mm. No, that's good. You still see the garlic in there? So you got all these flavors, people. So what we got going, babe? All right, so we're about to plate, okay? The vegetables are gonna go with the rice. And I think I wanna change things up a little bit tonight with the way I plate it. So let's see if everything works out. I think it will. You putting it in the bowl tonight? Um, right now. Hold on. We'll see. We're gonna see how this goes. Now I'm a little ways away from you. So what are you doing with smashing the rice down? All right. So I thought I'd try to work on a different presentation tonight. Let's see. And this hasn't been practiced. So we're gonna see what works. I've stuffed it in the bowl and I'm gonna try to use it as a mold for my plate. Okay. I'm going over to the plate. Okay. All right. Oh, nice, babe. Nice job. And so the way I'm setting this up is it's meant to be shared. Okay. It's like we had a little company. Now eat JC. What a nice mole. Chris, you are so creative. Get it, baby. Make it right. And as we stated before in previous live videos that we've done, um, Presentation is everything. If your food is not good and the presentation is great, people are more than likely would want to eat it. Am I right, babe? That's right. Look at that mole, y'all. Now you tell me if he didn't do a good job. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, ready for the rest? Yep. And this is you. This time I'm not going to forget the fork. <laughs> So. Thank you, you're so kind to do that. Shareables is always good. You know what? You probably should have got a spoon. Oh, you did that on purpose? Okay. Yep.
Chris, I think your next move needs to be culinary school. <laughs> As I told you, I think he cooks better than me. Oh, just wonderful. Y'all look at this. Let me take a, a glance at this nice looking dish. Let me scan it. What y'all think? Tell me what y'all think. Thumbs up, no, sad face, whatever. Just let us know what y'all think. I love it. And I can't wait to dig in. Okay, I think it's, it's your time. I'm going to take a quick pick for the gram. And then uh, we're good, right? You ready? Yep. And vegetables late at night is not going to hurt you. I know. We'll go to bed happy. <laughs> All right, now here's the test. The, the mold, the rice mold came out great. Yes, it did. I, I tried some different the presentation. What you think about the presentation? I think it was wonderful. I'm so proud of you. Now <laughs> All right, you ready? Okay. Here. Okay. Look, you have to sit down with me. Well, I'm, I'm going to let you do it. Okay. Which one should I try first? Which okay. one should she try first? We need a mighty mold. So, what about the color on the vegetables? You like the color on the vegetables? Mm -hmm. Working out? Yeah. Okay. Well, it looks like I got the thumbs up on everything. Y'all, so, what he trying to do tonight? He cooking this stuff this late at night. What y'all think he trying to do? Lure me in? Shoot. I better, that be next four days I'm luring in because I got some work <laughs> to do. Work, 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 work. All right, y'all. There we are. So, sauteed. You know I'm sorry. What's up? Vegetables are nice and crunchy. Just the way I like them. Huh? They're not too soft and they're not too hot. They're just right. Mm -hmm. So. So there you have it. Basmati rice seasoned with uh, butter, canola oil, uh, chicken broth and spices, mm. and sauteed vegetables. And you know what? If some of our friends follow us on our um, YouTube page and um, on Facebook Live. You're more than welcome to stop by. Let us know what you think and have a dish with us. What you think, babe? Sounds good to me. Mm -hmm. I was going to give you this bite, but I decided to, you know, indulge. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, y'all. Thanks for being with us tonight. Monday night. Yes. Round night. <laughs> the 11th hour of the 8th day. <laughs> <laughs> they say the 11th hour, the 11th day, the 11th hour, the 8th day. You Stay know safe out there. Remember those fallen soldiers. And let's remember to do what we can to stay out of that situation. And pray for those that are doing what they need to do. Y'all, he's steady talking. And I'm steady trying to feed him. Ain't that something? I don't know what's wrong with him tonight. You don't want to taste it? Sure. Let me try some of this. Yeah. Can. Try it. Is it good, mm -hmm. baby? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It works. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Y'all have a good night. We'll see y'all later. Peace. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs>